Hey hi guys, today we will see the lead code problem 792 which is saying number of matching subsequences. What does it mean? <clears throat> so the problem is saying that we have a given a string and we have given an array of words. Now we have to return the total number of subsequences which are available in the given string S. So how do we do that? So if you can see that we are having few examples over here which is saying that we have the input S which is the string required to check how many subsequences are available in the words a b b a c d a c okay the output is 3 for the example 1 and why the output is 3 so if i can walk you through just check this a is available in this a b c d yes it is available at the first position then this a c d it is available in the string s okay a is available in the first zeroth index then c is available in the second index and then d is available on the third index so this acd is also as a subsequences of string s now we need to check ac so a then c and then e is also available in the string s but why this bb is not available so the reason over here is if you can see if we walk go through this particular string this b is available in the string s only for once and how many b's are over available over here is two so if we will cancel this particular b with this b do we have any other b in the string s that can be matched and create a subsequences no so that is why the output of this particular s is equal to a b c d e and the words a b b a c d and a c is three so remember one thing over here the question is given that we have to return the integer means we have to return the total number of count not we have not that we have to print the subsequences of the string okay so we over here the subsequences are three so we have printed three in the example two if we can see that we have few of the string and then we have the words so out of this four only two words can be the subsequences of this string as so we are returning the output two now if we write this particular code over here let's write the code and then we'll go one by one to check what exactly the logic we are trying to implement it over here to solve this question okay so first of all because we have to return the value as integer so let's take one counter and then we'll return this particular counter as our output okay now what we need to do so first what we'll try to do over here is we'll try to create a map and this map will holds the occurrence of this a b b a c d and a c so what we exactly trying to do over here is we are trying to iterate over the words array and then we are trying to capture the number of occurrence of this words into a map okay so let's define a map which say map of string comma integer and let's say map is equal to new okay and now how do we add the values in this so we'll use a simple for loop we'll iterate over or words of array and we will try to put map dot put inside that we'll take str this particular key as my key so this a will become the key of a map this bb will become the key of a map and then we'll try to capture the number of occurrence of this a in the whole word array so how do we do that so we'll say map dot get or default this is a str 0 plus 1 so now if you will get confused what this get or default means so get or default means let's say i have this a available twice in this word array so why do we go and iterate over this a multiple times when we say this a is a subsequences of a b c d that means the other a is also going to be the subsequences 
okay so rather than going and iterating over uh, the same word again and again we'll say if my map already contains that particular string word then we'll take the counter of it and add one particular counter in the current occurrence otherwise we'll take the default value as zero so this is the by default method provided by java which takes the uh, default value if you don't have the map contains key and it will take the value or it will get the value for you if you have a particular value associated with the key so that is what we have done over here so now we'll iterate over our map and we'll try to find out what all occurrences are there so we all know how to iterate over a map so map dot entry i'm using i'm using a string dot integer then let's try map dot i hope you all know how to iterate over a map in java so the string key will become the entry dot get key and when we're trying to get the value what what exactly we're trying to get out over here okay so i'll tell first what i'm trying to do over here is okay now i'll write one more function which will iterate over my this word map and this string so we'll try to match this a is available in this string or not this bb is available in the string or not so that logic we are trying to write in our this method so let's say get sequence count and it will take two integer sorry two string so the first string will be the key which we have stored like a is present in the map at once so first we'll pass this key over here and along with this we'll pass this particular string because we need to check the subsequences in this string itself okay so now what this function will exactly do so i'll tell you this function is exactly going to check one by one the each character availability so how does it is going to check so i'll write that while i is less than str1 dot length and g is less than okay so what does this mean so when we say this this particular a is available in this or not so i'll try to take this word as i counter and this word as a g counter so my i should always be less than the length of this particular word and my j should be always less than this particular total string okay so this is where my while loop will run and inside that what we will do we will check whether this a exist in this string or not so how do we check that so we check if i sorry if str1 dot char at i equal to equal to str2 dot char at j means if this a is available over here yes I can see this this is available over here so if it is available over here we'll say i plus plus will increment this counter to b and then we will check whether this if this particular word has some other characters then we'll have to check in the remaining string so in this case we'll say i plus plus or else we, in every of the case we have to move 1g counter why because 
we are checking one by one this word to this string so if first word is not available at the second or first word is available at the first position then we'll have to check the second word or we'll have to check the second character p likewise c and all so we'll go and do j plus plus okay and if this particular j plus plus is done then we'll check if i equal to equal to str1 dot length then we will say yes the subsequence is available otherwise the subsequences is not available okay so this is how we'll get to know whether there is sub, some subsequences are available or not and then on the basis of that we'll increment the counter one by one and we'll return the counter so let's run this code i hope it should work okay so there is some spelling mistake map okay so now we'll test for all the test cases available example one and two if it will get successfully executed yes it gets so we'll submit this code okay so guys we have submitted this code successfully and this question has been solved i hope you like this video thank you so much